let's look at the second part of the spreadsheet question from the 2023 Higher Admin and IT assignment. In the last video, we had to use a nested if or the ifs function to bring the correct percent increase for the basic hourly rate based on the table in the question. We then calculated the new hourly rate in column E. The second part of the question, if you look further down, talks about using this information, calculate the gross pay for each employee. So if I go into the gross pay sheet, and again, there's a wee note to remind me of that, please use the new hourly rate that you have calculated earlier. So we need to bring across these pay rates in column F using a V lookup, vertical lookup. It's vertical because the pay rates are all listed vertically. All right, so in cell F3 equals V lookup. All right, now I think it's easier to go into the function argument box by going into formula, then insert function, then that brings it up step by step. The first thing to, to decide is what are we going to look up? Well, the identifier in both the pay rates and the gross pay is the pay code. So we are going to look up the pay code for each employee. We're then going to switch to the table that holds all the um, hourly rates by going into the pay rates table. Now, we do have a position in column A, but actually that is not relevant for this because Excel can only look up from uh, um, left to right. So we're starting with the pay code in B2. And we're going to highlight everything from B, um, B2 down to E19, which we're going to have to fix into place with the dollar sign. Now, thinking about the column index number, the actual new hourly rate is held in column E. And if you count from pay code column B, so B, column B is, 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 is 1, column C is 2, D3, E is 4. So we're looking for column index 4. The pay will come from the fourth column in the table we've highlighted. The range lookup is an exact match, so we have to type in false like that. Click on OK, and there we have the new hourly rate has been brought across for the first employee, and just copy that down, and that's it brought it across for everybody. Now, the next thing in column G is they need to know what is the basic pay. Well, that's quite straightforward because the basic pay is based on the number of basic hours that have been carried out. So that's just a simple equals the basic hours for each member of staff multiplied by the basic hourly rate. Go back up and copy that down. Okay. Now, in order to get the overtime hours, it is actually a simple subtraction. So what we're doing is here in column D, it's telling us the total hours worked. Column E's got the basic hours worked. So if we do a simple equals total hours worked minus the basic hours, that will leave us with any overtime hours if there are any overtime hours. Click on enter. Well, the first person actually didn't do any overtime. The, the total hours is the same as the basic hours, but we'll copy down anyway, and you'll see that some people have done overtime hours. The next note talks about overtime is paid at one and a half times the basic hourly rate. So therefore, we would have to then do another calculation in column I equals, we'll take the overtime hours, Right, and we will multiply that by the hourly um, basic rate times 1.5. I'll put that in a wee bracket. Right, so we'll take the basic hourly rate and we'll multiply that by 1.5 to get the overtime rate. So we're having to multiply the number of hours times the overtime rate, which is one and a half times the, the, the basic hourly rate like that. Click on enter. Again, the first person, there's nothing. But as we copy down, we'll see that that is the overtime 
and then column G, the gross pay is simply the total basic pay in column F plus the overtime pay in column I. And then again, we can copy that down. The last part of the question does actually talk about deleting the comments. So we just right click and it's actually, that's a note actually. So just delete the note there and same again, uh, delete, uh, right click and then delete the note. And it talks about omit the, the pay code from both printouts. So remember that would just be a simple hide, highlight column A and we can just hide that. And then when you're going on to do your printing, your value view, remember you can go to page layout and then sheet options and do your print options from there. If you're having to show the formulas, different ways to do it, you can go up to formulas and then you can click on show formulas, click on, click off. Remember, of course, to widen uh, columns uh, to make sure that everything is seen before you print off. So that's how you do the second part of that spreadsheet question.